Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be taking a look at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the title of Kinematics titled Which One Doesn't Belong? And this is the Force in Motion version. Um, we just did, uh, well, I just made a few weeks ago, uh, the which does not belong kinematics version. And so I'm going to link that here because most of what you're doing in this concept builder was covered in that video. Okay. It covered, uh, position versus time graphs, velocity versus time graphs, descriptions of motion in words, dot diagrams, and both position versus time and velocity versus time tables. So if you have questions with any of that, please go to that. It describes in much more detail a lot of those things. It also links a lot of videos um, from that that covered each of those things individually. So uh, that is the best place to go if you have questions on all those things. What's new this time is free body diagrams. Okay, so free body diagrams are the only new thing in this version of which one doesn't belong. I've included this chart, I'll bring it up again at the end, that has uh, most of the different things that you have here for a, something that's stationary, when it's slow, what it looks like when it's slow, what it looks like when it's fast. Notice I didn't put free body diagrams for that because free body diagrams only tell you if it's balanced or unbalanced. Um, if all the forces are balanced, then it is either stationary or at constant velocity. And it'd be balanced whether it's going fast or slow. If it's changing from slow to fast, then it's unbalanced. And that would be accelerating. Okay, um, but the free body diagram doesn't tell you anything about the velocity. It only tells you whether the velocity is changing. In other words, it only tells you about the acceleration. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on adding in here. So we're just going to go through three examples, uh, one from each uh, level, and talk through how you would go about thinking about this. Okay, so first uh, you see that we've got in the apprentice level, we've got, I think everyone has a position time graph, a velocity time graph, a description in words, and the new thing, our free body diagram. Okay, so um, the free body diagram often doesn't tell you everything you need to know about what the three things that are similar are going to be. So in this case, what do we know? We know that the left side balances out the right side. We know the up balances the down. So this is balanced. Okay. That means that the velocity will be constant. V is constant. Okay. Now that constant could be zero or it could be something. Um, in the apprentice level, actually, every single one has three things that have a constant velocity. Okay. Um, so here, we have a constant velocity that is zero because it's not changing position. Here we have a constant velocity that is moving, okay, in the positive direction of length. And here it says the object is moving with a constant velocity. Okay, so the one and non-zero. So this is non-zero and this is non-zero. And this could be either zero or non-zero, but this one is zero, that makes it different. Therefore, that one is not, does not belong. Okay. Um, so uh, if you see one, uh, 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 what do you call them? A free body diagram that is unbalanced in the apprentice level, that's going to be wrong. As we move into the master and the wizard level, though, that just means that there's an acceleration. The velocity is changing in that direction. Let's get on to that master level. Okay, so you see in the master level, now we've added in a dot diagram. Okay, so we've taken out the words, and we've got a dot diagram. Master level is going to add one more thing. So we have the dot diagram there, so let's take a look at what we've got. We can see here that the top and the bottom cancel, but we have an unbalanced force to the left. So that means what we either will need to have a velocity to the right, that is slowing because the leftward force would be slowing it down or we need a rightward velocity that is speeding up we'll just put speeding well speeding up slowing down okay so let's see what we've got up here we've got a rightward velocity so it should be slowing down 
And sure enough, it goes from going fast to going slow. And so that does match. Okay, what's going on here? We have a, a rightward velocity because we're in the positive direction and right is positive. So rightward velocity and it is slowing down. Okay, um, so, so it looks like all three of those match. This one probably is not gonna match. This one is going to the left because it's going from a right, a big right position to zero, which would be to the left. So it's going to the left as time goes on. So the velocity is to the left. So that would mean it would need to be speeding up. But here we see it's steep at the beginning and it's kind of flat at the end. That means this one's going to the left and slowing down. So that one is different to the right and slowing down, to the right and slowing down, either to the right and slowing down or to the left and speeding up. Either one could be caused by this force. All right, on to the wizard level. Wizard level, now you see we've got a table here. Um, there, This happens to be a velocity time table, um, but uh, you will see position time or uh, position time tables as well. If you have any questions on those, go to that link I showed you at the bottom and that video tells you all about data tables. Okay, so we see once again, we have a, a, a force to the left here. That means if the velocity is going to the right, that then uh, those two canceled out, then that force will um, slow it down, slow down, okay? If the velocity is to the left, if it's going the same way as this unbalanced force, then we'll speed up, okay? Um, so let's see what's going on with the rest of these. We have a rightward velocity here, and that is slowing down. Okay, so that does not match the uh, graph here. If it was going uh, to the left there, it would need to be speeding up. So that's probably gonna be our one that's not right. But let's check this. So our velocities are negative, so that means it's going to the left, and this is slowing down as well. Well, perhaps our free body diagram is incorrect. This is going to the left because it's got a negative velocity, and it's slowing down. This is uh, going from a big positive to a big to zero. And so that means it's going to the left, the velocity is to the left, and it starts out fast and it ends up slow. So that one's slowing down as well. So all of them are going to the left and slowing down. This one, if it was going to the left, would be speeding up. So that would be the one that does not belong. All right. Um, so that's the basic idea of what you're doing. Here's the chart once again for you to take a look at if that is helpful. Uh, go through, puzzle out uh, what you know about these. Use this video and the ones that are linked to it here. Um, and uh, so maybe I'll link a few more here. So the free body diagram, you learned about that in this one. I'll link a position versus time, a velocity versus time, and a dot diagrams um, uh, video uh, right here. Uh, well, enjoy puzzling it out. And if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And I would be more than happy to uh, help you out with those. And if you enjoyed the video and learned how to integrate free body diagrams into these, click that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beard.